Now go back to the question. You have the question in front of you, right? They tell you it's a circle and they tell you one and only one other piece of information about it. What do they tell you? Radius, Radius A. So if Q can exist there, if the locus of Q, I, I just drew the locus of Q by the way, if Q can go through there and there's a radius of A, where is the center of the circle? The focus is the center, isn't it? Because look, that distance there is A, correct? And that also means you can infer from that this point up here, right? I'm going to call this, I'm going to give it a name, I'm going to call it T, okay? I, I can know what the coordinates of that point are because that's, that's a diameter that I have going up through the circle, right? So where's T? It's going to be 0, 2 A. All right. Now I'm going to pause for a moment because we've done a whole lot of geometric thinking, okay? I'm going to leave that diagram there. Actually, I'm going to finish it off so I can turn off the projector. You can now add some more into your diagram. I've answered the first part of this question for you. Like, what does this even mean? I haven't even touched the second part. How do you prove that that really is a circle and that it's not just vaguely circular? Okay, you know a lot of circle geometry right now. You know a lot of circle properties. Which ones are going to be the most useful to you in proving that that circle is a circle? So I'm going to pause and hand it back to you guys. Off you go. Let's have a look at this question in terms of how to use part two, because that's really the key to solve part three. That's why they've done part one and part two, right? I said to you before, like you know 15, 16, 17 different circle properties. You literally can use pretty much any of them to prove that this is a circle. But in giving you part one and two, they are ushering you to use a particular kind of property. What did part two tell you? What did we conclude from that? The gradient of O to Q, which keep in mind, because I've drawn my imaginary locus here, Q is anywhere on this circle, circle that I like. Okay, so for instance, if Q were here, okay, what I now know is that gradient OQ is equal to T. Okay, now in this circle, what feature is OQ? What kind of object is OQ? It's a chord, right? It's a chord within the circle. And I notice that not only is it a chord, but at least the way I've drawn it, it's a chord that connects to this diameter. Do you notice that? I've got a diameter in a circle, right? And I know the gradient of this chord. So if I had a look at, say, this other chord that's here, then what circle property can I take advantage of? The angle in a semicircle should be, should be right angle. Now I'm just, I'm drawing that right angle there with sort of tongue in cheek because I haven't proved that yet, but that's what I expect to be true. Okay, if the gradient of this is t, then I'm expecting that this will be minus 1 over t. So let's prove it. Okay, I know the coordinates of this point up here, t, right? But I need to prove it, like, do you remember where I got t, this imaginary point from? I have to reason through that. So the way I would say is that, note, that when t equals 0, okay, you have to be a little careful with this. Um, t, in a, in a way of speaking, can't actually ever equal zero. Look at the question. Can anyone tell me why? Because uh, well, the gradients can be zero. There's some, look, look again at the question. Something specific to this question. T is part of a ratio, right? We mentioned this before, like one to zero when I was animating it, that kind of thing. So it might be better to say when T approaches zero, right? Where is it going? Well, it's going towards O. Do you remember that? Because look at the, uh, here it is, look at the coordinates of Q. Um, you've got 2AT and 2AT squared. There's T's in both of these. When T is going towards zero, these things are both going towards zero, right? So when T approaches zero, Q approaches the origin. Is that okay? Now, if that happened, then t is on the other side. So I can say, therefore, OT is a diameter where t has these coordinates, 0, 2a. 
since, like where did, I, where did I get this number from? How did I work out it was 2A and not like say 3A or 100A? It was from the, it was from that radius from the focus. Do you remember that? So where T is that since the radius is A. Okay, so now I have established the significance of this T point to this circle that I'm hoping to prove. Now I'm going to go for the gradient. I can say that the gradient of T, Q is equal to. All right, help me work it out. Let's do it. Um, what's the rise? Um, this thing here, remember, it's uh, 2 AT squared on 1 plus T squared. Is that correct? Take away what? 2A. All divided by, what's the run in this case? It's 2AT on 1 plus T squared is what we proved earlier, minus 0. zero. That's convenient. Fractions on fractions, gross, what would you like me to do? Multiply through. So that leaves me with 2AT squared there. There's the 1 plus T squared that I multiplied through by. Okay. On the denominator, that's nothing. This is just that. I see a whole lot of 2As. There's one, there's one, there's one. They're all gone. Okay, that leaves me with what on the denominator? Look carefully. What? Minus 1. Yeah, because the t squareds are going to cancel. Yes, are you okay with that? Minus 1, and what's left on the denominator? How convenient. So I'm not going to finish this off. That was the crucial piece. I can now say, aha, TQ is perpendicular to OQ, which means this is an angle in a semicircle because it's 90 degrees. Hence, Q is on a circle, blah, 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 blah. Make sense? So, what makes this question difficult? Um, what I love about this question is it's not the thing that usually makes parametrics difficult. Usually the thing that makes parametrics difficult is how much algebra you have to deal with. Like you, you descend into an algebraic rabbit hole and then you, you, know, you miss a minus sign and then you're like, oh no, I'm doomed forever, okay? This is about thinking geometrically. Okay, which is what I love about this question, which also says it's what we as a state are really bad at. That's why we do so badly at this question. 